So yeah, guys, uh, this whole area that I've been just walking is called Marabastad and uh, Marabastad is found here in Pretoria. Uh, Pretoria is under the province of Gauteng and this is South Africa. Uh, some guys also asked me just to do this street, uh, the Marabastad one. Anyway, what's the name of this street? I'm just going to be finding it at this corner. Keep on walking with me guys let me just show you how this area looks like it's just amazing to be walking here so this street is called uh it's boom street let's just cross it's called boom street and at these areas you can find this race here right right this is downtown pretoria where we you can also find these white people um coming to the argument that uh, are they any white people who are walking down downtown pretoria the downtowns of any city around here and uh, see this is just becoming handy uh, that these guys they just also appeared in my camera while she are doing this downtown Pretoria um, it's all about just proving to you that Pretoria uh, city the CPD the downtown is not that bad it's not dangerous to any kind of people any race I mean so you are really safe to walk here but uh, all I can say is you just need to be vigilant in everything that you do, in every way that you go. Uh, you need to be uh, vigilant. But uh, in Pretoria, it's none about extra vigilant, like in some other areas. So, what we are doing right now, guys, is we are walking this one street. Look where we're coming from. It's an uncut video. We are coming all the way down there, and that is Marobastad, right? So, we are actually are no longer in Marabastad. This area here is downtown uh, Pretoria. So we are now doing the downtown Pretoria side, going up, trying to do the downtown Pretoria for you. And let's just enjoy the, uh, the views and how people interact when they see my camera. And here are the police traffic cop doing their work. Here's the traffic cop who are doing their, their work here. So, I think everybody's safe somewhat to some extent. Let's just go get on with this walk. I don't know what you have observed when it comes to Marabasa side. It's not really that clean, but it is. Um, it is not that bad. Uh, especially knowing the fact that there are so many people it's overpopulated in that area Marabastad is actually overpopulated we just only just did the uh did one street as we are still doing the same street and what is the name of this street by the way just told you guys we are going to do the uh the bloom blue blood is it the bloom street all right okay let me just let me just try to find it out find out again yeah it's no, it's not bloom it's boom street that we are writing now right there it's written boom street 
So we are actually walking along Boom Street. This is a national zoological garden that is in Pretoria. There, the Sun Bee. So the entrance is somewhere there. That's where you get the entrance to get there. It's a zoo where you get to. So I, I, I understand um, there is an aquarium there. I'm not so sure. I've never been in there before. I'm always like passing through here. But uh, I think one of the fine days I have to do a video for this place here. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Someone who's doing some painting there. Amazing painting for this area here. As you can see these paintings guys. Isn't that amazing? And also some traditional stuff that is being sold here. For all the tourists, even for the locals. If you just happen to like this type of stuff here, you can come here. Buy whatever you want to buy from. You know, you want to buy I mean. So this is what happens here at this area here where it is a zoo always when you get to a tourist attraction this is one of the tourist attractions here in pretoria if you get to this you always see this kind of uh, stuff that is being sold here so please come and buy from these people they need your 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 help so that they can uh, have a living out of out of that so you see this is the zoo lodge as you can see here it's written here national zoo lodge garden pretoria can you see that there so this is the entrance and uh, i'm not so sure how much it is but i think i'll, I'll have to find um i'll have to find out and then i'll, I'll just leave the link so it's a national zoological garden as you can see here right here what an amazing garden so you just have to get right in there they welcome you getting in there an amazing garden over this other side let me just show you a little about that um, this amazing garden here welcome to Pretoria Zoo and uh, over the side that's where you just have to fetch your ticket to, uh, to get your ticket and then you're inside and then you enjoy mostly what a good thing if you'd come with uh, with your family, friends, you know, with your lover. I think that would be a great thing to do. It's one thing that you should just put in your wish basket when you travel to Pretoria. Because this is one of the things that you have to find here. It's so amazing. People are, I think, they're having their lunch right now. And this is downtown Pretoria. As you can see, these amazing, amazing, amazing apartments that side. Wow, can you see that? Amazing apartments along the street here. We are doing Boom Street as it is. We have started this street here all the way from Marabastad. So I'm just giving you the information what you could get from Boom Street. You can really enjoy what's here walking along this street here, guys.
so guys as we are doing this video it's actually on a friday friday afternoon and we are doing the downtown pretoria and i hope you are enjoying this video guys because this is quite an amazing video this is gonna be quite an amazing video it's gonna be a quite interesting video because you're gonna be seeing the real streets of the downtown pretoria this today so much that i want to do in these streets here just to prove that uh, when i say pretoria is the great place to be Go in terms of, of so many things safety and uh, all that you want to know of you might ask me i'll gladly tell you and tell you that pretoria is a place to be this is the downtown it doesn't really look uh, really uh, smart yes but yes as you can see it's a downtown so many people but not even that bad at all this is the downtown part and uh, don't tell me you expect to see more than what it looks like the pavement is that's okay with me This is this other side of South Africa that you don't know, guys. These areas, they are always skipped. They are, you're, not, you're not shown. You see, like I told you, I'm going to be showing you the good, the, the bad. Or whichever you want to, whichever you want to like call it. Uh, you want to call it bad side. But what I'm just going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you those places that I think they are not really squeaky clean like this one that I'm showing you now, but there is nothing so bad about this place here. So actually the point is uh, I want you to have the feeling, I want you to know and understand the fact when you're around here in the downtown part. Um, you will know how exactly it feels to be around here so that you don't have to be like when you come here you'll be saying walk africa you didn't show us this place where why are these places like this and that so you'll find out that these areas around here the downtown side the downtown part there is a lot that is happening here some business that is happening here selling of fruits the the uh, the saloons you know and some of them they're exchanging uh, they're doing these gold chains changing the gold coins and all that there's so much that is happening here when it comes to the business some of them they're just selling their products something like cigarettes and all that this is what happens here in the downtown and there are kind of also garages you know where they fix cars you know when you've got your car and it's not functioning well you can stop around there one good example is that one here, Transvaal Motorcycle House. I don't so these are the things that happens in the downtown part of Pretoria. So let's. All right, let's cross over, let's jump. The robot is green. This is the Pretoria for you today, guys. I mean the Pretoria downtown. So the thing is actually I will keep on switching on, switching off 
the streets and getting to the pavements so that I can, I can show you exactly how it looks in the pavements. There are some fruit stalls here, people that are selling their fruits here. And at the same time, it is a rank. As you can see, those mini buses, the taxis, they'll be committing people to different sections of the, uh, of the province. All the taxis that you need to be going wherever you want to be going to, you tend to find them in these kind of, in these kind of places, yeah. There are also some real ranks where you can find taxis going to mini buses. Those are the taxis, the mini combis that will be going to different places around South Africa. So this is still the downtown. Amazing people that you got to be meeting around here. Beautiful people as well that you got to be meeting around here. And some guys it is a city of of uh, kings and queens as i've always called it it's true and the security also around there it's amazing city guys it's an amazing city that is the reason why i love to be always coming here this is the reason why I even end up buying some property around here. This is just, just a simple property. I think it's a good investment if you would invest in such an area like this one. Right. So let's dive it a little bit. We walk around here. Let's feel the vibes of today. I hope I'm not walking that fast. I was just hoping to cover up uh, a better, much better. Just want to cover a large area as um i'll be just doing this walk so that's why i'm a little bit i'm walking a little bit faster than usual this is the amazing pretoria for you downtown amazing amazing that's the way the amazing unbelievable unbelievable Ooh. it's a hot day guys it's a hot 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 day guys be well subscribe to the channel just give it a like